blessings. Barakat. And welcome to your program. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. With your host, Fitko, Dr. Marisol Pelser, Dr. Marisol Pelser, Reverend Dexter, Dexter, and Sister Louise. Louise. Reverend Dexter is not here today. He's on a business trip. But me and Louise are here. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So before we start, let's pray. Father, we just thank you, Lord, that we have the privilege to learn your word. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, to take control of this program. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The name of the program is the spiritual fruit of self-control. Wow. Yeah. Self-control is important because we have to control the desires of the flesh. So let's go to Galatians. Galatians. Chapter 5, starting with verse 16. And this section of the scripture talks about life by the spirit. So self-control is also a fruit of the spirit. So we're going to read verse by verse. So I say, Leave by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. So when we live by the Spirit, we have self-control, and we do not give in to the desires of our sinful nature. For the sinful nature desires what is contrary to the spirit. And the spirit what is contrary to the sinful nature. They are in conflict with each other. So that you do not do what you want. But if you are led by the spirit you are not under the law. Here the Apostle Paul is teaching us that it is impossible to earn a right relationship with God and eternal life by keeping the law or by following religious routines because no one could satisfy the law because that's why the Lord sent Jesus to pay for our sins. So let's keep going. But if you are led by the Spirit, you're not under the law. The acts of the sinful nature are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, and debauchery. Idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissension, factions, and envy. Drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you. As I did before. Those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom. So here the Apostle Paul is teaching us 
that if we engage in this evil behavior, we will not inherit the kingdom and eternal life. So we have to control ourselves and not participate in all this stuff in selfish ambition, hatred, jealousy. You, when it comes up, no. Okay, because the people that practice these things will not inherit the kingdom. So there's two types of people. So let's go and learn about them in Romans chapter 8. Verses 5 and 8. Amen. Amen. I'm preaching to myself. Because our feelings, they dwell within us, right? But we got to control them. We have to put a bridle over our mouth. And say no. <laughs> I want to inherit the kingdom. Let's start in verse 5, please. في رومية 8 وعدد 5 يقول آمين فإن الذين هم حسب الجسد فبما للجسد يهتمون Remember there's two types of people تذكروا أن هناك نوعين من الناس So let's read this to find out هنقرأ مع بعض عشان نكتشف Those who live according to the sinful nature فإن الذين هم حسب الجسد أو الطبيعة الخاطئة Have their minds set عقولهم مثبتة and what the nature desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on the, what the Spirit desires. So there's two kinds of people. Those that live by their selfish desires and by their flesh. And those people are in rebellion to God. And the second kind of people that live in the spirit in being guided by the Holy Spirit pursuing the spirit and submitting to to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So let's see what happens to these people. The mind of the sinful man is death. But the mind controlled by the spirit is life and peace. Wow. Yeah. So are we going to choose life by living with self-dominion, with the power of the Holy Spirit helping us? Or are we going to live lives that lead on to death, being led by our sinful desires? I want life. Amen. Amen. Me too. So we need to have self-discipline. But we don't have to rely on our strong strength or on our skills to control ourselves. The Lord will help us. Let's go to 2 Timothy 1.7. Amen. I was so blessed when I studied this. Um, the word always teaches us. Amen. Amen. So let's see how we, what the timid, what the apostle Paul is telling Timothy. Here he's encouraging him to be faithful. You know, because he's young and shy. Okay. 
Listen to what it says. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity. But a spirit of power. Of love. And self-discipline. Self-discipline is self-dominion. Self-control. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Yeah. So God has given us Allah by His Spirit ruhu, a spirit of power, ruh al authority, ruh al love, al and self discipline. Ruh nafs. So the Lord equips us Hina Allah and enables us by the power of the Holy Spirit to walk in self-dominion to fulfill his purposes amen amen and not only that he he we learn from this that we start serving god because we love him and we love people and because god loves us first and the Holy Spirit is in us then that enables us to love others with the love that the Lord has given us to serve others in love but then listen to this but it also takes great discipline but it also takes great discipline لأن فلا تخجل بشهادة ربنا. That's verse what? No, no, I'm, I'm just talking. Okay. <laughs> It also takes great discipline. لكن كمان في ضبط نفس شديد أو تأديب للنفس. Self control. تحكم في النفس. To step, to step out in faith. لنسلك بالإيمان. And use the gifts that God has given us. ونستخدم المواهب التي أعطاها لنا الله. To accomplish His purposes. لنكمل دعوته أو غرضه. Wow, to yes. use the gifts to accomplish his purposes. We have to have self-dominion. We have to have faith and power to walk for. And the Lord has empowered us with that. So we become self-control. When we're going to pray for somebody, we wait. We say, okay, Holy Spirit, how do you want me to pray? And then we're moved to pray for that person because of the compassion of God. Because of his love. And then we take out that step of faith to pray for the person that has cancer. We lose our shyness and then we become instruments in the hands of God. But we have to be patient and only move when God tells us to move. That is critical. And you know, and, and it also relates to our temper. You know, we can let our emotions lose. Because from the emotions, from jealousy, envy, fighting, all that stuff, right? So we have to make a choice to walk in peace with other people and to walk, love them unconditionally. Let's see what the scripture says about a patient man. Because what I'm describing is somebody who has a lot of patience. Oh Lord, I need all of your patience. Amen. Let's see what it says about a patient man. Um, Proverbs 16:32. في أمثال 16 Listen. 32 Better a patient man الرجل الصبور than a warrior 
أفضل من المحارب. Better a patient man than a warrior. البطيء الغضب خير من الجبار خير من المحارب. A man who controls his temper ومالك روحه أي أو أعصابه than one أفضل ممن who takes a city أفضل ممن يأخذ مدينة. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So here فهنا the Lord is encouraging us الرب بيشجعنا to be patient أن نكون في صبر. That not every battle you're gonna win fighting. ليس كل معركة سنأخذها بالقتال. Some battles are won with the wisdom and the knowledge and understanding of God. بعض المعارك نأخذها بالصبر وبالحكمة وبفهم أو معرفة أو معرفة الله. Be impatient. ونكون في صبر. To receive the instructions from heaven. لنستلم إرشادات من السماء. The timing from heaven. التوقيت من السماء. That is so critical. So I, I, I want to pray this over us. Because I need it. <laughs> Father, we just declare that we will walk in patience. And that we will control our temper. That we will walk in your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding. In Jesus' name. Let's go to Proverbs 18:21. في أمثال 18 عدد 21. And we gotta be patient. يجب أن نكون في صبر صبورين. Because sometimes we get ahead of God. لأننا أحيانا نسبق الله. And we speak things. ونتكلم بالأشياء. And they might not be the things that what God wants us to speak. والرب يكون مش عايزنا نتكلم بهذا في هذا التوقيت. So we have to stop. يجب أن نقف. And listen from heaven. And then speak. Okay? Because the tongue has the power of life and death. Let's read it. The tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love it will eat of his fruit. Wow. Yeah. So we got to use the tongue. We have to have self-control of our, our tongues and speak with wisdom, with knowledge and discernment from heaven. It's so important. When we give godly wisdom, لما نأخذ حكمة, we are instruments of blessing. لما نأخذ الحكمة منه نكون أداة للبركة. But if we don't have self-control, لكن لو لم يكن لدينا التحكم في النفس, and we speak the first thing that comes to mind, نتكلم بأي شيء يأتي على أذهاننا, we might be deterring and not giving the best advice. ممكن نكون بنتدهور ولا نعطي أفضل نصيحة. So it's better to wait on the Lord. فمهم أن ننتظر الرب. Before we speak. قبل أن نتكلم. Over a situation. في أي موقف. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Proverbs 25:28. في أمثال 25:28. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We pray. شكرا يا رب لي. Listen to this. لنسمع لهذا. Like a city, مثل مدينة whose walls are broken down. أسوارها منهدمة. Is a man, الرجل who lacks self-control. الذي يفتقد إلى ضبط النفس. I looked at this and I was like, whoa. A wall is around a city. زي السور حوالين المدينة. To protect it. هي اللي بتحميها. So when the walls are broken down, لما تكون الأسوار منهدمة, that city is vulnerable. ال ال المدينة تكون هشة ومعرضة للهجوم. So a man who lacks self-control, فالذي يفتقد ضبط نفسه أو التحكم في نفسه, is vulnerable. شخص معرض هشة. This is powerful. ودي آية قوية جدا. We lose protection 
when we lack self-control. عندما نفتقد إلى ضبط النفس. Because the lack of self-control. لأن افتقارنا إلى ضبط النفس. Opens doors. يفتح الأبواب. That can lead to our own destruction. When we lack self-control, there's gaps in our wall that allow the enemy to enter and attack us. Wow, this is yeah. this is. Reason enough to say, Lord, give me self control. Father, we ask you in Jesus' name to give us self control. In Jesus' name. It is so important. And we're running a race. A race that when we finish, we will receive the crown of life. And it's not how we start the race. It's how we persevere in the race. Because we can't walk in wickedness. Right? Because we already learned that the people that practice wickedness do not inherit the kingdom. But we also, it is also how we finish the race. We have to exercise self-control in our lives. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 9.27. Corinthians 9.27. Amen. Praise God. No. Let's start at 26. Let's start at 26. Therefore, I do not run like a man running aimlessly. I do not fight like a man beating the air. So we are running this race for a purpose. We want to inherit the kingdom. We want to read with our Lord and Savior. So listen to what he says. Now I beat my body. And I make it my slave. So he makes his body a slave. He takes dominion. Self-control over his body. So that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. To be disqualified means to fail the test. To be rejected by the Lord, right? Wow, because we yeah. have to be faithful to the end. And such a life is characterized by moral and spiritual purity, integrity, Separation from evil and complete dedication to God. Finishing the race, remaining faithful through Christ through, throughout our lives and winning the prize of eternal life. And in order to do this, God requires Allah exercising the gift of self-control, of self-dominion, and working through hardships for Christ. That is amazing. We have to stay faithful. We have to 
guard our salvation. يجب أن نحرص خلاصا. We have to hold on to Jesus. يجب أن نتمسك بالرب يسوع. And just and say, Jesus, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. Help me to finish this race. Help me to be obedient. Help me to have self-control. To walk in holiness. To submit to you. To surrender to you. To be obedient to the Holy Spirit. To be led by the Spirit. And to hear what the Spirit ولكي أسمع ما يقوله لي الروح. To live a life of self-examination and repentance. وامتحان للنفس وضب. That is powerful. وده قوي جدا. Father, we pray that in Jesus' name. بنصلي في اسم ابنك يسوع. Lord, we ask you that in the name of Jesus. يا رب بنطلب منك في اسم ابنك يسوع. We cannot do it in our strength. لا نستطيع أن نفعل هذا بقوتنا. So thank you, Lord, that you send the Holy Spirit to help us. لأنك أسرت الروح القدس ليساعدنا. Holy Spirit, we welcome your help. بنرحب بالمساعدة. To walk in self-control. لكي نسلك في ضبط النفس. In the name of Jesus. في اسم الرب يسوع. Amen. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 6. في كورنثس الأولى عاد إصحاح ستة. Because there's other things that are so powerful too. قوية أيضا في الموضوع. Amen. Amen. One of the things that I learned from 1 Corinthians 6. إحدى الأمور اللي تعلمتها من كورنثس الأولى ستة هي is that we must live إننا يجب أن نعيش and care for ourselves ونهتم بأنفسنا in such a way بطريقة as to honor نكرم and please God with our bodies. So let's read how we can do that. And a big thing that the enemy uses to attack us is sexual immorality. Because people that commit adultery, they have no self-control, right? People that commit fornication have no self-control. Because people know that that is wrong. But they give in to the desires of the flesh. But let's see what the word says. Everything is permissible for me. But not everything is beneficial. لكن ليس كل الأشياء توافق أو مفيدة. Everything is permissible for me. كل الأشياء تحل لي. But I will not be master by anything. لكن لا يتسلط علي شيء. You cannot let sin master anything master over our lives. لا يجب أن ندع أي شيء يسيطر على حياتنا أو أي خطية تسيطر علينا. Food for the stomach. الأطعمة للمعدة أو للجوف. And the stomach for food. والجوف للأطعمة. But God will destroy both. والله سيبيد هذه وتلك. The body is not meant for sexual immorality. ولكن الجسد ليس للزنا. But for the Lord. بل للرب. And the Lord for the body. والرب للجسد. So here we learn that we're not meant for sexual immorality. هنا نتعلم أننا ليس لنا أن نسلك في أمور غير أخلاقية. Amen. Wow. Like. And, you know, the Corinthians thought that they could do everything with their body. They claimed that overeating and sexual promiscuity had nothing to do with spiritual life. But it does. لكن هن يعتقدون أن ليس هناك علاقة بل هناك علاقة بين الاثنين. Here the apostle Paul هنا الرسول بولس يقول is declaring يعلن that the whole person أن الشخص كله including the body بما فيه جسده is meant to honor God. يجب أن يكون بيكرم الله. So let's keep going. لنكمل. But by His power لكن بقوته God raised the Lord from the dead. Allah أقام الرب. And he will raise us also. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ himself? Should I then take the members of Christ and unite them with the prostitute? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Lord, Father, forgive us. 
For it is said, Hasha. The two will become one flesh. But he who unites himself with the Lord is one with him in spirit. Flee from sexual immorality. Wow. Those sins are offensive to God. And they're destructive to individuals. And the church. And not only because they affect multiple people's lives, but because they defile the body. Because the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. This is why the Apostle Paul gives such a strong warning for people to stay away from activities and situations that could entice you to think and to behave in immoral ways. So let's go back to 18. Flee from sexual immorality. All other sins a man commits are outside the body. But he who sins sexually sins against his own body. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's so important. Father, we ask you to forgive us, Lord, if we sin against our own body in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought with a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Wow. Yeah. So we have to live in such a way and care for ourselves. To honor God. Because we're the temple of the Holy Spirit. Eat properly. Avoid sexual immorality. Exercise. Take care of your body. In Jesus' name. Amen. That is amazing. Wow. Yeah. And you know, I know this is difficult. But through faith, we can do all these things. Let's go to Second Peter 1. Father, we just thank you that through faith, we can do all these things. Thank you for your Holy Spirit who helps us. Jesus sent him to be our comforter and our helper. So Second Peter 1, 3, to 11. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Amazing. <laughs> we have everything we need. Through these, he has given us very great and precious promises. So that through them, you and me may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. That is powerful. For this reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to goodness knowledge 
and through knowledge self-control and through self-control perseverance and to perseverance godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness love for if you possess this quality in increasing measure they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus. Wow. For anyone, for if anyone does not have them, he is nearsighted and blind and has forgotten that he has been cleansed from his past sins. Therefore, my brothers, be all اجتهدوا. the more eager كونوا أكثر رغبة. to make your calling and election sure أن تجعلوا دعواتكم وإختياركم ثابتين. for if you do these things لأنكم إن فعلتم هذه الأشياء you will never fail لن تزلوا أو لن تفشلوا أبدا and you will receive لأنه هكذا a rich welcome يقدم لكم بسعة into the eternal kingdom دخول إلى ملكوت الله our Lord ملكوت ربنا and Savior Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah. Through we are shielded by God's power. And our faith has to be genuine. Genuine. Look at verse 7. Look at it says. And to good and godliness, brotherly kindness, and brotherly kindness, love. Increasing in measure. Every day more, Father. We want more. We want more every day, Father. And Father, I just declare this word. Second Peter 1, 3 through 11 over our lives. Father, we choose. We choose in the name of Jesus. To make every effort to add to our faith goodness and to our goodness knowledge and to knowledge self control and to self control perseverance and to perseverance holiness and to godliness and brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness love in Jesus name we ask the Holy Spirit to help this be a reality in our lives we want to walk in such a way in order to receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom in Jesus name we declare it and we receive it in faith. In Jesus' name. Wow. Yeah. So we have to be strong in the Lord. Oh, I just feel the Holy Spirit. That makes me so happy. Take a hold of that truth. Let's take a hold of that and let that think in our hearts. Amen. We got to be strong. And one way to be strong is to put on the armor of God. And go, let's go to Ephesians 6. 10 to 18. Okay. And it is amazing. Here we have the armor of God. And, and I want to read, you have to put it on, the armor of God. It says, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power so that you can take a stand against the devil's schemes. So we have to put on this armor for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the satanic 
from. So I want you to go here and put the armor of God over yourself and learn about the armor of God. We did a program before on the armor of God. Don't neglect the armor of God. Amen. Amen. Now let's go to Titus 2, 1 through 14. Titus 1. Amen. I always lose that, but I always remember. 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, Titus. They all start with T. Titus 2, 1 through 14. Titus 2, 1 through several people. Verse what? He, 1 through 14. Here are several people. Here are several people. I'm being taught. تعلموا. To teach certain things to certain groups. And let's start reading here. It says, You must teach what is in accord with sound doctrine. Teach the older men to be temperate, worthy of respect, Self-controlled, sound in faith, in love, and in endurance. We've been talking about this, right? So let's look at the word temperate. That's the word nifalio in the Greek. And it means, it relates to self-control that allows one to avoid excessive behavior. Excessive behavior. We have to have balanced lives. Whether in our conversation, whether in our physical conduct or in any other area of our lives. So we have to be temperate. Self-control. There's priority. God, Allah, our family, our ministry, so let me give you an example. What happens if Miss Marisol, Miss Marisol becomes excessive and all I do is pray? I don't shower. <laughs> I don't cook. I don't clean the house. I don't work. I don't go to church. I don't study to teach the program. I'm not being temperate. Everything has to be in balance. Everything has to be in balance. We have to be temperate. Let's keep reading. Notice what it says. Self-control. Sound in faith, in love and in endurance. And we already read in the previous scripture that we have to be, we have to have perseverance. Look what he tells the older women. It tells them to be reverent in the way they live. Not to be slanderers. Or addicted to much wine, but to teach what is good. Then they can train the younger woman to love their husband and children to be self control and pure. To be busy at home. Right? To be busy at home. 
ملازمات بيوتهن cleaning cooking all the things we have to do right all the things that require but if you excessive in one area you can't do that لكن اذا افرطت في شيء لن تصنع الباقي صحيح and be subject to their husband خضيعات لرجالهن so that no one will malign the word of god لكي لا يجدف على كلمه الله so that we can be good witnesses فنكون شهداء صالحين امين امين number 6 عدد 6 in similarly كذلك encourage the young men to be self control عز الاحداث او علم الاحداث ان يكونوا متعقلين in everything set them an example في كل شيء مقدم نفسك كقدوه by doing what is good بعمل الاعمال الحسنه so whatever you do be an example to people فكل right? ما تفعله يكون مثال للناس Wow. Yeah. Look at number. Look at number nine. So, ما في عدد تسعة يقول. Teach slaves to be subject to their masters and everything. علم العبيد أن يغضعوا لسادتهم. To try to please them. ويردوهم في كل شيء. Not to talk back to them. ولا يتكلموا بهم. And not to steal from them. ولا يختلسوا أو يسرقوا منهم. But to show that they can be fully trusted. بل يكونوا مقد مقدمين كل أمانة صالحة. نحن اشترينا بثمن. الرب يسوع مات لأجلنا على الصليب. So now we're slaves to Christ. فنحن الآن عبيد للمسيح. So we have to be self-control. فيجب أن نكون في 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 ضبط النفس. So that we can be fully trusted. فنكون مؤتمنين. So that in every way. لكي نقوم في كل شيء. They will make the teaching about God. نقدم تعليمنا عن الله. Our Savior attractive. لكي نقدم تعليم مزين عن الله لكي يزينه تعليم مخلصنا الله في كل شيء. For the grace of God that brings salvation. لأن قد ظهرت نعمة الله المقدسة. Has appeared to all men. لجميع الناس. It teaches us to say no. معلمة أيانا أن نقول لا. To ungodliness. للفجور and worldly passions والشهوات العالمية and to live self-control ونعيش بالتعقل upright والبر and godly lives والتقوى in this present age في هذا في العالم الحاضر so we need self-control فنحن نحتاج إلى ضبط النفس wow yeah we have to live life knowing that Jesus Christ is coming back يجب أن نعيش حياة عالمين أن رب يسوع سيأتي مرة ثانية not neglecting our prayer lives لا نهمل حياة الصلاة Controlling ourselves, being patient, loving one another, being generous and kind, serving each other with our spiritual gifts, as empowered by the Holy Spirit, spreading and proclaiming the gospel, serving the Lord, and finishing the race by being loyal to Christ all the days of our lives. And we can only do that when we have self-control. And the Lord has already told us that if we ask Him, He will give it to us. And that we don't have to do it in our own strength. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to give us self-control and, and we ask you again for the Holy Spirit to help us so that we live lives that have self-control that are pleasing unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Those of you that speak English, I want you to go to Amazon Kindle and buy the book that me and Brother Dexter have written. We just released it. And the name of the book is Do You Honor, Do We, Do We, Honor God with our lips and not our hearts. It is a book that will bless you. It will teach you how to honor God with your heart. So I invite you to go to Amazon Kindle and get the book. 
the book will come out in um, written form within the next month. And pray with me that I can get it translated into Arabic. Also, I want to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube page. Shalomshalom.org. Shalomshalom.org. We have lots of programs in Arabic. And you will see Luis. And it says programs in Arabic. Because whenever I do a program in Arabic, I always put her in the front so that you know it's translated. She's our Arabic voice. God bless you. And I pray that all of us will walk in self-control. This has been your program. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. With your host, Dr. Marisol Pelser. Dexter Pelser. And our Arabic voice, Sister Louise. God bless you. We'll see you next week. Amen.